So a few days ago I made this list on which two I'd choose to be eliminated from each team next, and I'm sure people were surprised when in teammates I choose to eliminate Gaty and Saw instead of Barf Bag and Needle like most people would prefer, but why did I choose that? I'll make the introduction quick, this is why Gaty and Saw should leave next from teammates and why Barf Bag and Needle should stay instead first let's look at teammates, it consists of Gaty, Saw, Barf Bag, Needle, Donut, Pin and Coiny however notice how two players stand out most on the team, it's Gaty and Saw. They have no interactions with the rest of the team, Donut and Barf Bag have been in a team status since BFB1 all the way till BFB16, and they both have interacted multiple times while Coiny, Pin and Needle have huge history leading all the way back to BFDIA, shameless plug wink, even the original Wo Bunch Coiny, Pin, Donut Bunch is here, so if all of these characters have things to offer to the show, why keep these? You could say it's to develop them and because Saw and Gaty are friends even though they haven't even talked much in 16 episodes, or that these two are pretty bland, but I'll show you evidence that points to the contrary and then at the end you can decide for yourself if you agree or disagree and make your own choice. Let's start with, Saw, Saw is a, well, character, they don't really have much going on for then, just the typical nice object persona and that's pretty much how they were during the first half of before split BFB. Blocky, put me down! Hey, don't squish that! You don't know what it does! Okay, and I'll bring my friends Lollipop and Taco. Taco! Oh, hey, hold up. Taco, do we really have to run through the desert? Why are we running through the world's largest oven? Why are we literally swimming through molten lava right now? Well, swim faster, everybody! We're almost there! I can feel- I got it! Here's oh. your basket! Yeah, they're dead! And so is everyone else on my team! Except Dora. Oh yes, please, thank you for- Please, can you recover top- Dora, how are we gonna win this with such a disadvantage? Dora? That was easier than I expected. Aw, uh, it's too bad Taco still isn't here to compete with us. Come on, everybody! We're more than halfway! Just push through! Push through! You can do it! I'm keeping mine. In my eyes, they're still valid! <gasps> Team! Oh. If we latch onto their rocket, we can escape the twinkle too! Oh. Guys, grab on quick! No way! So this is what it feels like to be in outer space. Nope. Oh, really? Wow! <laughs> hey! None of us has the twinkle anymore! No! Taco's dead! Go left! Sasa didn't really do much in the time, however then came the... 8 fumes arc saw is going through, you see when 8 ball died, the fumes went into saw and wella now they scream 8 a lot, they left for a lot of episodes and then came back saying saw was fixed but they still kept yelling 8. Which yelling 8 feels like is basically the only personality saw has right now, if you ask anyone in the object show community what is the first thing or moment you think of when you think of bfb saw, they'll most likely say something about saw yelling 8. Which sucks cause Saw used to be a calmer, more rational and slightly developing character before the fumes but after Saw just feels like a throwable gag to attempt to make the audience laugh by Saw just yelling 8. And eventually the audience will get bored of Saw just being a one-trick blade, Saw also doesn't offer much to the show's future as she doesn't really do much and just says 8, also her voice used to be much normal before the fumes but after it just changed and in my opinion not for the best, why not look at only a few moments Saw has this 8 fume arc and if Saw stays will likely continue for way too long. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have inhaled those fumes! Oh, this one's easy! It's glue! Eight! Huh? What the heck did my lips just do? I- I meant to say glue! Eight! 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 Oh, hey guys! Oh, look, I've been on a scent cleanse! Scent... Cleanse... You know, pushing the good smells in so you be, the, the bad smells go out. It's been working really well! All the words I say are my own choice now! I told Lollipop and Taco I was gone. I thought they would tell the rest of you. Hi, Gay! Uh, I feel great! Um, yeah. All my number yelling urges are completely sated! What? Why are you guys all looking at me like that? I didn't abandon you. I just came back late! I don't hate this great trait! I rate it in straight 
eight out of eight. Yay, that's all saw basically is RN, but who should stay over this metallic blade? How about another metallic blade, Needle? Needle is an interesting character, sure she was pretty bland in season 1 of BFDI. Only saying don't call me needy most of the time and that's pretty much it, however in season 2 and 3 she started to talk more and guess what they were on a team with Pin and Coiny, just like they are right now, those three have a pretty good dynamic even if Coiny is surrounded by a pin and a needle, needle can be cheerful, upset, sassy, and angry, most objects don't really show as much expression as needle does, just look at Bami, Grassy, Marker and Bottle as examples. But even though Needle can sometimes come of as strong, I believe it's still better than just being nice and bland like Saw. Plus Needle said she liked Coiny more, platonically said it would be nice to see her friendship with Coiny and Pin develop more and maybe even see how Needle and Donut could interact, and yes while Needle did become a bit bland at the start of BFB. I like Coiny more, I didn't mean to, look, I'm sorry, is it really that big of a deal? Okay. Who's left? Who do you think has the twinkle now? That doesn't apply to today, though. <gasps> Help! Wait! Don't you think someone more dexterous should do it? By the end of Before Split BFB, Needle starts to take on a bigger role with a more apparent personality. She is kind, smart and can get angry easily. Needle, as I said before, has been through a lot of seasons 4 to be exact. Well 5 if you count her just joining TPOT, so with Needle being such a hardcore all-star veteran to the BFDI franchise, of course she would get better over the years and indeed she did, Needle won for her team 5 times in a row. More than anyone has helped her team ever only one that can be second place is Dora, Needle helped in the Stairs Challenge, the Imposter Challenge, the The Give the Emerald Challenge, the Lava Race Challenge and in TPOT they used her to climb the building. So thanks to Needle her team won 5 times in a row, just goes to show how truly unappreciated she is, I am sure people think she is bland and boring but in my opinion so is Saw and only difference is, Needle has been proving recently time and time again that her personality and skills are changing while Saw and Gaty haven't done much other than honestly mostly be background characters, I know Needle started out as one but again just take a look at how much she is becoming better and has a better chance at character development than Saw and Gaty. I think it's because of the photo cake Leafy gave me. You are there, Pin. It's her. Wait, does that mean I can do the same thing? Here? I just don't get it. Friendship and... Mind your own business. Whoa. Wait, wait. You, you know just you have... shut up! I've been able to hear you this whole time and it's infuriating! Just do the challenge, Leafy! Snatch! Oh, get your hands off of me! Go, go! I do too have friends! Name one! Well, there's... Name one you've never gotten incredibly angry at! Uh, that's not fair! Then there isn't even any of them! Yeah, well, if that's you can't what help fair rules, you're kind you of a liar! You're a liar, no, you know what no, I'm no, you can't. You're a liar! Yeah. Huh? Are, Are we safe? safe? No! By oh, what? No. Come on, Daily! You can make it! I don't have time for this. <laughs> Seventy feet left. Yeah. No, help me! Don't call me needy. No, help me! I think someone needs to apologize. Thank you. Life is full of pain. Uh, uh, what's my line? Oh, I don't remember. We'll call you Puffy. 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 Huh? What happened? Bend on the wool bunchers for me. On it. What are you doing? There's no point waiting. Barry! Should we go in? Is this normal? Oh, actually, I want to say that.
Alright so now you saw how Saw doesn't much other than Scream 8 and how Needle is slowly getting more personality and is way why 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 more active in challenges than Saw and Gaty, but exactly who is Gaty? I've been talking so much smack about then yet we haven't met them yet, you see Gaty is a, confusing character first they started out as super bland, boring personality and never did anything in challenges. Hmm, let me think about it. I'll get back to you later, Leafy. I just don't know much about you yet, that's all. Three, why? Nice! Saw, join my team! Guys, Book just exploded into flame! It also, Force said I and Sin we were the only teams that haven't finished! Her death was a tragedy! Maybe it's permanent! Katie, however, eventually did get a more different personality, however, I believe it's one that came out of nowhere and feels odd on a character like Katie. Over the course of the show, Katie just became kind of either always upset or complaining about something. For real she just kept complaining about pretty much everything and at first it was cool and different but imagine having Gaty do that for the rest of the entire show, Gaty just honestly doesn't offer much to the show and doesn't really do much either, other than complain. Flower! What the heck are you doing? Well, you look idiotic. Dang it. Now Saw is infected with the light. And I shouldn't have looked at her either. I don't know. She kind of looks the same from above. The ship's broken though. Donut, that's just an audio recording of 4, not the real deal. So of course there's no effect. X, you mean to tell me you've been here the whole time? <sighs> if only there were someone on our team who specialized in throwing. Okay, we have no time for you guys to act like this right now. Look, let's just send up Dora. You wanted to learn more about her, right? Why did I think this was a good idea? Now when anyone tries to defend Gaty, they always use the same excuse her chat with Book on BFB14. Gaty basically talks with Book about her behavior and makes her realize she is doing a mistake. Why don't you take a look? Look, I know some of us don't get along, but can we at least come together to figure out where the treasure is? By some of us, surely you mean Taco, right? Since he's all the way over there, not even standing with her team right now. She doesn't even think Look, to do we need thing. to talk, she okay? Come over here. Just follow me, okay? Come over here. Looks like it's time to get this book's cover judged. You know, I've always hated that expression. All right, Book, what is the matter with you lately? Oh, what's the matter with me? Why don't you ask? Yes, what is the matter with you? You've gone from being one of my most clear-headed friends to this irrational, aggressive, hot-headed... I don't recognize you anymore, okay? Me and Ice Cube joined this team because we were tired of being mistreated. Yet here we are again, getting abandoned, and who knows what else? Oh, Book, have you not been paying attention? The rest of us already realized we were being irrational about Taco <gasps> abandoning us. How dare you utter that traitor's name? Taco, 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 Taco. See, this is what I mean about you being irrational. Even if we were in a crisis, the proper response is not to vilify our allies. Allies? She's in no way an ally! Alright, Book, say whatever you want. But if you really think you're in the right here, if you really think your yelling is somehow protecting this team and Ice Cube, then I have to ask you this. What were the first words you remember saying? I'm a dictionary, and you'd better believe it. Exactly. Maybe it's about time you look into yourself and see what your own definition is. I think it may have changed. Just because I'm a dictionary doesn't mean you can use me to- Hey, whatever. So I have to admit Gaty doing that was pretty cool, but that was back on BFB14. More than 20 episodes already passed after that, not including TPOT. What Gaty did was cool, but it was also a long time ago, and I highly doubt Gaty will have another scene like that. Especially since Gaty is now on a different team that doesn't have books, so their relationship can't improve or interact much. Gaty just doesn't offer much to the show after that. Her only friend she talks to is Saw, and as I said before, Saw honestly shouldn't stay either over these much better characters. I'll get to this one soon, so if Saw is out guess what Gaty will do, nothing she wooked have no real friends in that team and do nothing like she always does in challenges, same thing if Gaty leaves first, Saw doesn't really know anyone on her team and wouldn't do much other than scream 8, Gaty had a big important performance in BFB 14 but after that has done nothing, other than cry about being eliminated even though it was pretty clear Gaty would have been safe either way. Seriously?
Are you all going to scream like that every time I start a new can? Oh, this is really bad. How are we going to get out of this hole so we can do cake and steak? Well, if we never come out, none of us will be eliminated, right? <laughs> that would be pretty cool, right? Well, isn't that kind of unfair to the other teams? Who is going to eliminate me? I don't want to be eliminated. <laughs> There, there. Excuse me, but Dora is lava proof, is she not? We could send her out there to speak with four and have them get us out of this predicament. Oh, Dora's not the best at communicating, though. I don't think four would understand her. Actually, well, Saw, you're made of metal. Go swim up there yourself. But, but, but my new handle, I just got this pretty thing. I don't want to lose it. Oh, th thanks. Now that you have seen a lot of stuff on Saw and Gaty, why not look at everything they did on TPOT1? Also look out for how Needle helped her team this episode. I miss Lollipop and Taco. Don't worry, Saw. I'm still here for you. Can I stay with you guys, oh, too? Oh, uh, hey, Book. Listen, I know you're trying to be better, but maybe you should try to find some new friends to be better at. All right, Book. See you around. Yeah. Hey, Barfbag. You want to team up because we're all zigzags? <laughs> sure, lol. What? No, that's so stupid, Coiny. We're not Woe Bunch. We're hey, the Zig Zag. No, Woe Bunch is the Coiny. I also like Zig Zag. Hey, hey, now. Hey, come on. Hey, hey, now, hey, come on hey, stop fighting. We're teammates. Now, how are we going to get Diddy up here? Oh, I know a trick. Here, just hold me out over the edge. Like this? Yeah. Oh. All right. Magnet powers activate. Whoa. Wow. Teammates, you're safe. Now it's time for Barf Bag, a pretty decisive character. Some people like her, some people hate her. Barf Bag has a typical nice object personality, but unlike Saw, can still get upset as in anger. Barf Bag also has high intelligence despite being a Barf Bag. This intelligence story arc can be explored more to develop Barf Bag. Another thing that could be explored is her friendship with Donut and also making Barf Bag interact with Coiny, Pin and Needle on future episodes. Barf Bag still has potential to develop into a better character. We just need to give her a chance. Uh, guys, maybe Teardrop did care, but just didn't say anything because, you know, she can't. I can't believe this! You guys never take me seriously! Spongy, will you take me seriously? Whew, finally there's someone! Lollipop, I know you think my brain has been destroyed, but maybe I can prove my true abilities if we're on the same team. Oh my sap! Fine then! I'll team up with Spongy, because he likes my presence. Okay then, that leaves Naily and Donut. If we come up with something relevant and sensible... Don't worry, we're not gonna kill you or anything. Oh no, Bracelet is sad again. I think Jolton should stop throwing forks everywhere. <sighs> Lollipop, we need to talk about this barf molecule thing. You may think they lower my intelligence, but science shows... That's just not the case! Get your hands off me! Come on! Slow and steady, everybody! Okay, so I know the one of us with the most votes will be eliminated, but who of us is safe? No! Uh, hey, Four, feast your eyes on this! <laughs> <laughs> he saved you! Oh, hey, Gelatin, what's up? Sorry, my reflexes are too slow! Shot it, lolly poop. Hmm, what could it be? <sighs> Hope, strength, ingenuity, and no one being quite like Fiery Jr. What do we... do? Oh, okay. Hey, he's taking a step in the right direction. Barf Bag also having slow reflexes can be explored more and help her develop. Barf Bag is a nice likable contestant which trusts her teammates a lot. She even defended Donut from Fiery Jr. Even though Donut has quite the rocky past for what he did in BFDIA, that's why I believe Donut has a good friendship with Barf Bag. She picked him in BFB1. Donut became host and tried to give Donut easy questions just for Barf Bag. Barf Bag scolded Donut a bit like a friend would when someone does a mistake, and she even defended Donut just look. Ah, the imposter could be gelatin. He hasn't tried to use Bommy to win yet. What? He's dropped that since episode 9. Has he? What about Naily? She hasn't said she nailed it yet. That's because Fiery Jr. told me it was annoying. What? It's true? Well, it can't be Fiery Jr. There's no one quite like him, so I know. What about you, Donut? Are you supposed to be mean? What gave you that impression? He got eliminated first in BFDIA, so of course he was mean. He was standing by his principles. How suspicious of you to say. <laughs> of course I'm real. Right, Spongy? Yo. 
Well, Spongy's just sat there the whole time. He always does that, right, Spongy? Yeah. Yeah, that's accurate. Wait a second. Maybe it's... Who? Him? Oh, um, I, uh, maybe we shouldn't... I is so safe, which means that Team Ice Cube will melt its way to the elimination zone. Barf Bag is intelligent, kind and has a good dynamic with Donut. This next clip shows her being smart, being friends with Donut and being so kind that not only does she forgive her teammates for hurting her but also tries to warn an enemy team for their safety only ending in a painful death for Barf Bag. Did you sleep? Gelatin, please don't use my bark. Kawabunga! <laughs> Ouch! Nelly, that really hurt, and... Oh, my sap, I'm leaking! Are you gonna be okay? I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I always need liquid in me, or I'll... Uh, you what? Uh, feel... woozy. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I found something. Okay, I patched her up. Let me listen. Well, Barfbag's definitely unconscious now, but he's not dead yet. Donut, I told you I found something. Could it really be more important than your teammate's life? Well, maybe. You're the strongest one of us. Go fill her up. Huh? Where am I? Oh, my bakery! You're back, Barfbag! Yep. Thanks for caring for me. I feel great now. That's awesome! I feel really great. Yeah, I bet you do! No, you don't understand. I feel amazing! Okay, that's enough. Well, I think this calls for a celebration. Let's have fun- Also super fantastic! We've already heard that before, Barfy. I- Wait, hold on. I feel good because the water inside me is warm. Oh? <laughs> yep, this water is warm. Like- Really warm. Yeah, and it's super soothing. Barfy, what's your point? Donut, legs don't get this hot without a reason. We could be near a fiery recovery center, maybe? Or something worse? Like what? I mean, we could be next to a volcano. <laughs> Imagine that, lol. You're joking, right? Yeah, of course. Ah! No, of course not. Run! Ain't a problem. Huh. See? I nailed that jump. Oh. It's too steep! Oh, well, Spongy's body has a lot of friction. Ooh. Spongy, run as high as you can and flop onto the grass. Okay. Holy moly! We made it all alive, Jelly! Oh, yeah! Thanks for the ride, Spongy. I told you, there's only one seat. Oh. My. Collagen. There's an emerald right next- uh, Um, guys, the lava level is still rising. Is this concerning? I think this is concerning. Hey! Ions, get up! Oh, gag, now it's coming out of two holes! <laughs> After that, Donut and Barf had an even stronger friendship, making them both want to stay on the same team together, showing that again Barf Bag and Donut are good friends just like Pin is to Coiny. If Barf Bag stays we can see her personality develop more and her friendship with not only Donut but also Woe Bunch grow as well. Well, I know I'm sticking with Barf Bag! Cool, so you want to stay on the same team? No. Oh, okay. <sighs> Donut's got so many free spots left on his team! Hey, Barf Bag, you wanna team up because we're all zigzags? Sure, lol. There's only one person left. I mean, duh, we gotta be Woe Bunch, right? Hey, no, Woe Bunch is a no name, because I always like to be a Woe Hey, hey now, hey, come on, stop fighting! We're teammates! Okay, so we know Barf Bag is kind, intelligent, has a good friendship with Donut, has slow reflexes, hum, what else does she have? Take a look at this theory about Barf Bag as well. Barf Bag is a walking problem. This is a theory created by G. Grassy on the BFBI wiki. They say that Barf Bag may have some kind of walking disability due to the fact that they are constantly seen leaning against something or sitting down rather than standing as well as that she has the most trouble walking down the buried forest in BFB 13. This is most likely just a coincidence, but hey, it's fun to think about. This theory implies that Barf Bag has some sort of problem with walking, and while we have seen her walk a few times, when she has the options she rather leans or just sits down, 
I believe if the creators decided to expand on this theory more and maybe slowly explain to Donut and Woe Bunch that she indeed does have it, it would give Barf Bag even more character traits, seeing as no other object has a trait like hers and would make her stand out even more. So to recap Pin and Coiny are sort of friends with Donut because of their old history in BFDIA, Coiny and Pin are also good friends with Needle because they spend a lot of time in BFDIA and in before split BFB, Donut is very good friends with Barf Bag, and Gady and Saw honestly only interacted with each other so far. Saw doesn't do much and screams 8 is its personality trait Needle is smart, fast, does challenges, can be kind yet also sassy and has friendship with these, and in future episodes can become friends with these, her personality is developing, unlike Saw. Gady is bland, doesn't really do much, complains a lot and just isn't really getting personality development, they don't have many traits about them and that magnet power thing felt forced and came out of nowhere, it also doesn't feel like her personality will develop anytime soon. Barf Bag on the other hand, is kind, very intelligent, has low reflexes, has a strong friendship with Donut and could possibly have a walking disability which could be explored later, these three are pretty much confirmed safe next time teammates is up for elimination because of how well liked and popular those all-star veterans are, but then that leaves these four in danger of being eliminated, and after all you saw today, I gotta ask, who would you rather keep and see a bigger story develop more with, and who do you think deserves to be eliminated since they wouldn't do much later in the game? The choice is honestly yours, we'll just have to see what Teapot 2 has in store for these team full of teammates, thanks for watching everyone.